morning people, yes it's Petrus and Pardet with your St. Lucia experience beach walk video. Water level update. There's a couple of millimeters increase in the water level. <gasps> We've got crabs. No, not that kind. So ladies and gentlemen, the estuary mouth has been managed by public perception that is created on social media, whether it's a News24 entry or a Facebook entry. It's all fake public perception. 80% of that is generated by robots. And a large following on this YouTube channel is manipulated by robots. So guys, if you've got subscription to these robots where you buy a thousand views for 30 Rand, please unsubscribe from that functions or redirect them to another channel. This channel and myself and Pardet, we don't walk these walks to be manipulated by artificial intelligence. Let's get back to the beach walk. This is where the estuary mouth wants to be. And this is where it is pressuring from the ocean side, sucking from the ocean side, pressuring from the estuary side. It wants to be here. It was always here. And it looks like if it's going to continue to want to be here. For the camera sake, shake guys, but that is um, the Estuary Beach runabout Ingwe on the far distance and viewpoint. The ocean looks lovely. Fishing should be extremely good, although it's windy and cold. It's uncomfortable cold, uncomfortable windy. I think you can hear the wind in the microphone noise in the microphone but this water is lovely for iron candies especially the green glow and the white glow i wish i had my rod here this would have been nice the, these iron candies can cost in high winds uncomfortable winds but dead geniet jy dit die buiten meisie kind die water is nie so koud vandag soos ander dag nie nee is nie die wind wat koud is papa Ooh. Look at that sediment buildup between the ocean and the estuary mouth. And it's far to walk to Mopelan. People ask me, can they walk to Mopelan? Yes, you can walk to Mopelan. It's just a, a distance. It's roughly about three, three kilometers, three and a half kilometers there and three and a half kilometers back. It's a comfortable walk. Even in my unfit condition, I can walk it. Just take extra water. Backlight, don't take your whole tackle box, you only need one or two traces. And um, enjoy the outing. The last couple of days, a couple of nice size garricks came out. Some kingfish, quite a few salmon, uh, grunters of between 3 and 5 kilos. Uh, Natal stamplers, not that big, but they do come out. Especially on the northern beaches, the elephant brim are, are more prone with the pompano on the northern beaches. The shad that's coming out at the moment is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. The water is nice and warm. It doesn't appear cold. Maybe it's because my body temperature is cold. Pardet, come and stop. Go, go, hello. Okay. Oh, look at all the sand between the estuary mouth and look at how high the buildup is. This is about 100 meters plus, maybe 150, closer to 200, look. Windblown sediment that is ocean warm. Whether it's dredger spoils from cleaning the estuary mouth, whether it comes down with the river, this sediment, man-made. Some Poseidon lawn, here right in the shallow water. Guys with braid don't want to fish here. 
means that there was a, a huge storm on the ocean for that seagrass to loosen from the bottom. Look at the spool here. Getting fit and Pardet almost made it to the municipal beach edge. We'll get back there. We'll get back to that fitness level. It's hard work, but we'll get back. Definitely. A beautiful day by uh, at Mapelon. And this is where the Umfalosi River mouth used to be. And the stretch of sand between the old Umfalosi River mouth and the ocean. The wind blown sand dunes building up higher and higher and higher. And although we're waiting for the pressure to wash a natural estuary or river mouth, it just doesn't happen. Um, the farms are still about 1.4 meters underwater, but it just doesn't build up enough pressure to wash through. I have to concentrate to keep this camera still. I lost my monopod. My trusty monopod and the gimbal gave him anyway this is the view towards the Flozy river that is running behind that dune over there and um, this is where cyclone engineering took away a lot of sediment Kotkaim um, farms used to open this that is towards the estuary mouth where it was open now on the 4th of January it's just been left. Let's see where this water mass is. Come on, focus, Petrus. There it is. That is the Mflozi River. Roughly about 1.6 meters above sea level. Um, at Kotkain Farm. At Kotkain Farms. But it doesn't push through here. Still a beautiful walk. Um, on a nice early morning uh, during summer midday this is, will not be a comfortable walk I can guarantee you that it's going to be too hot our dead just wandering around what a beautiful view but what a sad state of affairs would have loved to see the 1968 management plan back in action here Lazy's mouth separated from the St. Lucia estuary mouth and even the St. Lucia estuary needs water. Anyway, me and Pardita are making our way back. This is a difficult walk. Today, with the wind and the cold, it's not comfortable. I'm going to try again. Let's do a sunrise when this weather is passed. Can anybody tell me why this weather is so awkward? It's supposed to be spring. My favorite part of the story. This is where neap tide sucks on the estuary. Oh, sorry. Let me rephrase. This is where spring tide sucks on the estuary. This is where the estuary mouth wants to be. A lot of people has made those comments on the videos and on Facebook. And yes, guys, this is where the estuary mouth wants to be. This is where it should be. And hopefully the new science team that the minister still has to appoint will give some credit to the 1968 management plan that was formulated since 1942 and it was completed in 1975. That's the management plan that we all grew up with. That was the St. Lucia estuary we all fell in love with. A deep functioning marine system producing lots and lots of fish now it will be interesting to come in back after all this rain that's coming we can see that there's a lot of water hanging in the sky buckets loads that wants to spill if we can come back after the rain and have a look what the impact was see you guys back in town some monkey business happening here on the right from the ski boat club back towards town they frolicking, playing, grooming, and foraging. They're finding their sweet cheer nature. Guys, please don't feed the monkeys in town. It makes them naughty. Eat them so that they can develop in nature. Oh, cute. Look at these ones playing here at the public launch site. 
there's some more sitting in the road. Let's just try and sneak up in the lip. It can't just speak in there. Hang on the sink. That red actor looks like the, the back hind lid is hurt. Come out, come out. Let's have a look. Come out. Yes, a little bit more. We've got a blind eye as well. Oh no, look at that blind eye. Oh no, mommy. Aren't you pregnant? Oh. Gee. Tim, let's see how bad that leg is injured. Then for Uncle Beatrice, come, come, Tim. Oh, you funny, my sweets. Okay, I'll wait. Just look at that. Look at that injury sticking out there. Oh, just look at how sore this leg is. Nature is tough, guys. Be thankful.